Trailblazers, it's Michelle with Trailhead Accounting Solutions. Today I want to walk you through how to write off bad debt using Xero. Alright Trailblazers, let's jump over into Xero and I will show you how to write off an um, invoice to bad debt. The thing I love about Xero is that it makes it so simple to do this. So you know kind of the unfortunate part of doing business is occasionally you have clients that won't pay your invoices whether it's they can't you know afford it they've got cash flow issues they go out of business they're unhappy with the product or service that you provided um, a whole multitude of reasons or they're just deadbeat clients and they just don't pay so um, when that happens let's show you how to get those numbers off of your books so we are in the demo company of zero at the moment and we're going to come up here and click on the business tab come down to invoices and when you click over here on awaiting payment all the invoices that are open that customers haven't paid will populate right here in this window so for today's demo, let's pretend like Marine Systems isn't going to pay their invoice for whatever reason. So we're going to click right here on the invoice. And the awesome thing about Xero is you can write off this invoice right in the invoice. Most other accounting programs, you have to do a, like a five step process to do this. This is super, super simple. So we're going to come up here and click on invoice options. We're going to add credit note. When you do that, the credit memo window opens up. So we're going to write it off as of today. And we can, um, it's going to assign a credit note number. You want to just leave that alone. The reference number, which is great, it pulls that over from your invoice. So you don't have to remember that, which is super nice. And then you're going to come down here and the marketing guides, we're just going to add a note that writing off to bad debt. Customer not happy with services. Oops. I always like to make a note um, why I'm writing stuff off. Just if I have to go back down the future, it you know makes it easier. You can quickly reference, oh, that's why we wrote this off. Okay, so we're gonna have a note. We're gonna write off the entire process that they, you know, they had four um, things of marketing guides at this price. And then instead of writing it off to sales, I like to write these off to a, an account called bad debts. That way you can really track how many bad debts you're having in your business. Um, you know, you don't want to get in the habit of writing off too many because then that's kind of a sign that something's wrong in your business. So it's good to track them separately. And you can see for the $396. So we're going to go ahead and click approve. And as you click approve, you can see that it is applying it against that invoice. It already did the math, already applied it for you, so you didn't have to do that separate step. It applied it against the invoice for you, and now the amount due is zero. So let's just double check. We're going to go back under businesses to invoices. We are going to look at awaiting payment. Come down here and you can see that it is gone. It's no longer here. And then if we're going to jump over here to accounting, let's look at our income statement so I can show you what was happening here. Okay, so let's look at October. Well, here, we'll just do October through the end of the year. So in sales, We should find the 396. So here is when we did the invoice October 30th, build marine systems for $396. So in your October numbers, the sale is be re being recorded as income. Then when we go back to our financial statement, and we come down here to bad debt expense, you can see there's $396 in bad debt expense. So it was recording the invoice in sales, and then it backs it out as an expense of bad debt. And here's the credit memo that we wrote off. So it essentially makes it go to zero. But this is a great way for you to track, um, again, your bad debts and make sure that you guys aren't writing too many off. So I hope that helps. A super simple way to write off bad debt. 
If you have any questions, feel free to make comments down below. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.